Hey there, this is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist, a sleep tech, also the founder of this lovely website, the best forum for people with uh, sleep problems or people who are using CPAP therapy, free cpapadvice.com forward slash forum, as well as a website. Um, first things first, you'll notice this donate button sitting here. Well, let me tell you a little something about that, buddy boy. Uh, if you find these videos helpful, I would appreciate even a dollar. Every little bit helps. Um, if not, no worries. I'm still happy to help. Um, all right. So what I want to talk about is complex sleep apnea. Um, this happens to be a patient that uh, I received permission to use their data. It is someone who used uh, my home sleep testing service, AXGSleepDiagnostics.com. Um, it's uh, what we do is we do home sleep testing. We use all the channels that a regular sleep study would use. So you can see body position, eyes, chin, EEG for brain activity, uh, which most home sleep studies don't actually use. Um, wait, hold on. Let me um, let's see here. Um, so you can see the EEG. Now this is a two-minute window, um, so it's going to be hard to actually see the see it. But uh, I don't really feel like toggling down, so that's what you get. Um, so we have the snoring, um, let's see which I can increase there, if, not really much there. We have the P-flow, which is a nasal cannula that gets pressure, the chest and abdominal belts. So then we have uh, the EKG, um, you can see actual heart rhythm, every beat there. And then we have uh, the SpO2 and legs, though the legs actually were not used for this study. So I'm going to remove them. <clears throat> Okay, so complex sleep apnea, what is up with that? That sounds very complex. Well, it is. Um, what complex sleep apnea is, here you can see a string of obstructive sleep apneas. So we have no uh, breathing in the nose or mouth. We also have no attempt at breathing by the chest and abdominal belts. Uh, this bottom one here is the sum of each. So when it is flat, you know that it is accurate. Um, so obviously central apnea is not good. If you're not even trying to breathe, what the hell, right? What's going to make you breathe? I have an answer for that. Um, so you see there's just a string of these um, central apneas, and if I increase the airflow, you can see that there's no spike before it. When you usually see, you see like steady sleep going on, sometimes you'll see a spike, then you'll see a central apnea, or then you'll see more sleep. And that's kind of an isolated incident. Well, you don't see that here. So you kind of, that's a tip off that this is true. These are real central apneas. Um, just person simply stops breathing. Now we have a longer central apnea here. So this just looks like central sleep apnea, right? Just central apnea after central apnea. Um, well, unfortunately there are some other things going on that makes this complex. Now here's one example that uh, really illustrates complex sleep apnea. So here you have um, a central apnea. You can see an awakening. Then right back to sleep, but this time you can see that the belts are moving. So that was now an obstructive sleep apnea with an arousal here. And then this leads into a respiratory effort related arousal, which you can see there's a clear decrease in effort and a decrease in the breathing leading to another um, arousal. So you have three different types of events here all squirreled away into this two minute segment uh, now central apnea is treated differently than obstructive apneas so <laughs> if you have both that is what makes it complex now here we are in REM sleep and you can see there's a respiratory effort related arousal and then we have a mixed apnea um, some people think that by having mixed apneas, that is complex sleep apnea. That's not true. Mixed apnea is just simply a type of apnea where half of it is central, where you can see there's no, um, the person's not trying to breathe, and then all of a sudden they do try to breathe. All you have to do is have one chest or abdominal increase or change with a flat line, and that's a mixed apnea. So that's what we have here. That's not indicative of complex sleep apnea, but in this case, the person was diagnosed with complex sleep apnea. Uh, so just wanted to clear that up. Here's another example of that. We have a respiratory effort related arousal um, causing uh, 
an oxygen desaturation down here and then an arousal and then we have uh, obstructive apnea a clear one that's very long um, causing another arousal and a huge desaturation this is, happens to be while in REM sleep let's see I think I saw a few more so here yeah so here we have this is non REM stage N2 and we have another rear and then we have another obstructive sleep apnea um, so these are obstructive type events and here's another one but what makes this complex is that you have obstructive type events which would be all of your um, mixed apnea hypopneas rheras and obstructive sleep apneas then you have those mixed in with these central apneas that manifest at other parts during the night so because these are treated differently that makes it complex and the treatment for these is typically some type of a bilevel therapy and then if the bilevel therapy doesn't work whether it be a spontaneous mode um, you'll see s slash t which is spontaneous timed um, spontaneous just means it goes off of your breath so if you try to breathe if you even initiate it it'll assist you um, spontaneous timed or s slash t is um, it'll give you a chance to breathe on your own and trigger the breath but if you don't within an allotted time which is set on the machine it'll do it for you and then a timed machine um, would just be it it's kind of like a, resp a respirator it'll breathe in and out on a set time no matter what you want to do <laughs> doesn't care what you want to do um, another treatment is um, it goes by a lot of names but um, auto servo ventilation so you'll see the name if it's a resmed unit will be ADAP, or I'm sorry, um, VPAP ADAPT, or you'll see adaptive servo ventilation, or you'll see ASV, or you'll see BiPAP auto SV, or you'll see BiPAP ASV. Those are all pretty much different names of the exact same thing. So anyway, this is complex sleep apnea. Um, this person hopefully will be treated with uh, an auto servo ventilation machine. Um, and uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my forum, freesteepupadvice.com forward slash forum, um, or, uh, or don't. You can leave a message also at YouTube. Thanks. Bye.